Hey guys, we're down at the Whitewash Sand Dunes down near Green River and Moab. Uh, we are heading out towards Moab to go see the Secret Spire. And we're going to go to a couple lookouts that overlook uh, the Green River and down over Hey Joe's Canyon. Uh, should be a good ride, some good, good roads. Uh, so hope you enjoy. crazy out here in the middle of the desert. We get all these big cottonwood trees where the floodplains are. Stop down here at the corral, take a little break. We're gonna head out to the secret spire. Won't be so secret anymore. Pretty amazing how whenever they made these roads, probably for mining or whatever they did, they came and ground down the slick rock, make them drivable, and they're still not smooth enough to drive on very well. What kind of effort they put in for whatever they were mining is pretty insane. small these look off in the distance and then you get right up next to them and how giant these cliffs are. Rocks that are falling off of them or have fallen off of them. Pretty impressive. Oh, little chipmunk! But I'm not even going to know what it was about because we didn't see it. Chipmunk! <laughs> <laughs> probably go that side, yeah, be better. Tell them to come over off there, probably, Jack. Well, that was a bad line. Little, little hit bottom, no big deal. No, Jack, just let him do his thing.
Okay, we first hard obstacle, discovered uh, Jack had a flat on his dirt bike that we can't fix on trail. So we're gonna try to find a spot we can stash his bike, finish the ride, and then he can ride it back. And then we'll hopefully see if we can do something back at camp. Okay, we've made it a secret spire. It is off in the distance. A nice little short hike to walk up to it. Um, it's kind of cool. You can look down some canyons towards the Green River. Stop here for a bit, and then we'll mosey on to some overlooks. Okay, guys, we're at the secret spire. Hope you can see it behind me. And here's the view you have off of it. A little hiking trail down there. Trail down to the bottom. I don't know how to get down there. Then it's too hot to get there. It's not going to last too many more years before it falls. Which might be a hundred or a thousand compared to how long it's been here. and overlook the Green River. Okay, we're getting out to this lookout. I'm not sure what it's called on the Green River. Um, but we're on the inside of a big horseshoe bend of the river, so hopefully we'll have a good 180 degree view of the river around us. Uh, for the most part, this road has recently been graded. Um, and as long as there's no rocks, it's a pretty smooth road, so we're cruising along pretty good. Bash the dirt bike till we head back to camp so we don't ruin the tire and rim any more than it already might be. Right here on the point, have us a nice little lunch. Okay guys, we're out here at the end of whatever this lookout point is. Um, it's a nice view of the river. Joe King and the end of that trail. We tried taking that one a few years ago, but it's it gets washed out. camp now. Hopefully we'll be okay to get there. Um, I think he's light enough and the bike's light enough. It's not really squishing the tire. Worse with him on it than just the bike alone. So we're just going to take it easy and limp him back to camp and maybe we'll take a look at it there if I can find some tools to try to get the tire off the rim and look at the tube. I don't know what I'll do then because I don't think I have any patches or slime for a tube. I got Got plugs for the razor. Don't think they're gonna work on a tube though. Don't know if you guys can see it, but that little white dot on the top of the hill in front of us is camp. Uh, we're just getting back. No, no trouble so far with the dirt bike. Probably got a couple miles left before we get there, but it's mostly up the sandy wash, and this road's not too bad for him.